Let's roll up our sleeves and let's get to work. And again, a big thank you. Uh, and uh, now I would like to introduce a video um, uh, that uh, is from our president-elect uh, Barack Obama, just to show to you, just to show to you that we are now in sync with this admi coming administration. So let's see it, Senator-elect uh, Barack Obama. Let me begin by thanking the bipartisan group of U.S. governors who convened this meeting. Few challenges facing America and the world are more urgent than combating climate change. The science is beyond dispute and the facts are clear. Sea levels are rising. Coastlines are shrinking. We've seen record drought, spreading famine, and storms that are growing stronger with each passing hurricane season. Climate change and our dependence on foreign oil, if left unaddressed, will continue to weaken our economy and threaten our national security. I know many of you are working to confront this challenge. In particular, I want to commend Governor Sebelius, Governor Doyle, Governor Christ, Governor Blagojevich, and your host, Governor Schwarzenegger. All of you have shown true leadership in the fight to combat global warming. And we've also seen a number of businesses doing their part by investing in clean energy technologies. But too often, Washington has failed to show the same kind of leadership. That will change when I take office. My presidency will mark a new chapter in America's leadership on climate change that will strengthen our security and create millions of new jobs in the process. That will start with a federal cap and trade system. We'll establish strong annual targets that set us on a course to reduce emissions to their 1990 levels by 2020 and reduce them an additional 80% by 2050. Further, we'll invest $15 billion each year to catalyze private sector efforts to build a clean energy future. We'll invest in solar power, wind power, and next generation biofuels. We'll tap nuclear power while making sure it's safe, and we will develop clean coal technologies. This investment will not only help us reduce our dependence on foreign oil, making the United States more secure, and it will not only help us bring about a clean energy future, saving the planet, it will also help us transform our industries and steer our country out of this economic crisis by generating five million new green jobs that pay well and can't be outsourced. The truth is, the United States can't meet this challenge alone. Solving this problem will require all of us working together. I understand that your meeting is being attended by government officials from over a dozen countries, including the UK, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, and Chile, Poland, and Australia, India, and Indonesia. And I look forward to working with all nations to meet this challenge in the coming years. Let me also say a special word to the delegates from around the world who will gather at Poland next month. Your work is vital to the planet. While I won't be president at the time of your meeting, and while the United States has only one president at a time, I've asked members of Congress who are attending the conference as observers to report back to me on what they learned there. And once I take office, you can be sure that the United States will once again engage vigorously in these negotiations and help lead the world toward a new era of global cooperation on climate change. Now is the time to confront this challenge once and for all. Delay is no longer an option. Denial is no longer an acceptable response. The stakes are too high. The consequences too serious. Stopping climate change won't be easy. It won't happen overnight. But I promise you this, when I am president, any governor who's willing to promote clean energy will have a partner in the White House. Any company that's willing to invest in clean energy will have an ally in Washington. And any nation that's willing to join the cause of combating climate change will have an ally in the United States of America. Thank you. What I saw when you watched this video, there were many times that you wanted to applaud for a long time and the various different things that uh, uh, our president-elect has said. 
but because of the video, you know, you wanted to also hear what he said next. So, um, but I'm going to share that with him, a great enthusiasm here. And of course, I am very, very happy because this is so important for our country because we have been the biggest polluters in the world. And uh, it is about time that we as a country recognize that and that we work together with other nations in order to fight global warming. And so this administration will help us with that. This administration will adopt, as uh, you know, uh, Barack Obama has just said, adopt our regulations and our laws. And this is really fantastic because we want to lead the way. And I can promise him, and I want to thank him first of all for this great video that he has sent and also let him know that we in California here are ready to go and do everything that it takes in order to help his administration to follow through with, those, with his vision, with his environmental vision. Thank you very much. You all have a great, great conference, and I will see you again later on. Thank you.